Welcome to today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread. Our reading titled, Meeting Together in Jesus, was written by Allison Keita. When I went through an extended period of emotional and spiritual pain and struggle due to difficult circumstances in my life, it would have been easy for me to withdraw from church. And sometimes I did wonder, why bother? But I felt compelled to keep attending each Sunday. Although my situation remained the same for many long years, worshiping and gathering with other believers in services, prayer meetings, and Bible study supplied the encouragement I needed to persevere and remain hopeful. And often, I'd not only hear an uplifting message or teaching, but I'd receive comfort, a listening ear, or a hug I needed from others. The author of Hebrews wrote, Don't give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another. This author knew that when we face hardships and difficulties, we'll need the reassurance of others, and that others would need ours. So this scripture writer reminded readers to hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, and to consider how to spur one another on toward love and good deeds. That's a big part of what encouragement is. That's why God leads us to keep meeting together. Someone may need your loving encouragement, and you may be surprised by what you receive in return. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from Hebrews chapter 10, verses 19 through 25. Therefore, brothers and sisters, Since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way open for us through the curtain, that is, His body, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water." Let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Let's pray. Loving God, The relationships we have with fellow believers are so important to our walk with you. Help us to foster strong relationships in which we can give and receive encouragement, comfort, and the wisdom that helps us grow in our faith and in our love for you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for listening today. I'm Rochelle Traub, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.